I am not responsible if anything goes wrong on this. It's your fault, not mine. Okay? Well, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak on iOS 5.0.1 untethered using red snow and also how to unjailbreak. Okay? So first, how to jailbreak, download red snow from these links. I'll put them in the description, okay? After that, so, okay, download that, go through the thing. After you download it, open up Red Snow right here. And click that, and then it'll say this. Alert. Okay, just click open, doesn't matter. Then it'll go through this thing. Um, don't update it, because I've had problems with the updated version. So, I just like this one, because it works. Okay. So, click jailbreak and install Cydia. So, first you have to have it plugged in and turned off. So, to have that, plug it in first and then turn it off. And mine takes forever to turn off, so I'll fast forward through this. Now, it turned off. Okay, so after that, then click next. And as soon as you click next, you gotta hold down the power button. Okay, so be prepared. Click it. Hold the power button down until it says for the next one. Then, hold the helm button down until it says it's... Go to the next one. Okay. After that, then you hold down the er only hold down the home button and let go of the power button until the screen changes on red snow. Okay, it'll go through this. Um, this might take a little bit. I'll fast forward to this. Your screen will just be black, and then it'll say preparing jailbreak data. And, um, wait for it. Okay, and then you want to, I enable everything except for install custom bundle, because I don't have a custom bundle. But these two on the bottom enable better percentage and multitask gestures. You can turn those off if you don't like them. So, yeah. Just let it go. It might take a bit, so I'll fast forward through this. And then on your iPod, it'll have the weird white text. It looks like this. Okay. And so you didn't do anything wrong if it does this. It's supposed to do it. It's kind of weird. But, yeah. So... It'll do the white text stuff. It it says it's done on this, so if you want, you can unplug it. I just leave it plugged in. But okay, hold on. after it does that, then it will moving applications with the pineapple. And this it usually takes a while, even if you don't have any apps on it. But, yeah, okay, that might take a while. Okay, then it should say rebooting. That will reboot your iPhone, iPod, whatever. It sometimes takes a while in the first reboot. So if it takes like five minutes, then just don't worry. It shouldn't take that long, but if it does, and it's still not done, then you might have messed it up. Not really, but okay. But when you keep in mind when you jailbreak it, it takes a lot longer to reboot than it does normally. I've noticed that. So you, then you have your jailbroken eye thing, okay? Um. After you do that, you can slide it. And look at that. You have Cydia. Woohoo. Okay. Now you can open it. But then enter the stuff like user, hacker, developer. Most of us will do user like me. Okay, but okay. After you jailbreak, let's say you got Android lock or something, forgot your password, and you want to unjailbreak it. Okay, so you want to unjailbreak it, here we go. Dang it, I broke my iPhone, I want to unjailbreak it now. Okay, so if you want to unjailbreak it, it's really easy. Open up iTunes. 
Then wait, okay, okay, there it is. Right there. Um, okay. If you wanna do, if you want to, um, res if you wanna unjailbreak it, then you should restore it. Because that's the only way to, right, as of right now, I think. Unless you find another way. But, um, so, yes. You basically just want to restore, then back it up, because then you can have everything back. But I'm not going to, because I just fresh already did this, so it has nothing on it. Then restore, let it go through that, and then it's on Joe Brock and when it's done. Okay, congratulations. There you go.